I am pressure canning half and half. I know there's a lot of different ways to can milk products, which by the way, is not approved. Okay, you need to know that. Some people bring their milk up to pressure and then turn off their stove top. I will be processing this for 10 minutes. So on the left, I have my Presto 23 quart pressure canner. On the right, I have my ring bands and lids sitting in hot-ish water. Now, I've washed these already. Of course, ring bands don't need to be resting in water, right? I always pick my lid and ring band up at once. Of course, we've got the magnetic wand. We have a myriad of mason jars, which have been washed in hot, soapy water. We have the debubbler, which I've said before, I don't see a necessity um, if I'm canning something like this, but I will use it anyway. I've got my jar lifter. I've got paper towel and water for wiping the rims. I am using Bernardin lids. I wanted to go back to the water. I have seen so many situations online where people's milk curdled or it just didn't work when they processed it. That could be because of the vinegar. I'm not 100% sure. Not a scientist. Anyway, let's get started. Let's pour our half and half into the pint size jar. Debubble, although I don't think it's entirely necessary. Wipe the rim with water. Get a lid and ring band, place it on the jar and screw it on finger tight. Let's get this jar into the canning pot. I've used most of the cream. I could fill more pint-sized jars, but I'm not. I'm gonna save this for coffee. So this is going in the refrigerator. I'm now gonna turn on my element. And I think I'll put it at four. Okay, I'll bring you back when we have a steady stream coming out of the vent pipe. We now have a steady stream of steam. I'm going to set the timer for 10 minutes so this canning pot can vent. So the canning pot has been venting for 10 minutes. I'm now going to put the weight on the vent and I'll bring you back when we reach 11 pounds pressure. The gauge has reached 11 pounds pressure. I'm now going to turn down the element and set the timer for 10 minutes because I will be processing this half and half for 10 minutes. Okay, so the 10 minutes is done. 
I'm going to turn off the element and I'll bring you back when the pot comes down from pressure. The air vent cover lock is dropped, so I'm going to remove the pressure regulator. And I'm also going to open the pot just a bit and then I'll be back in about 10 minutes to take the jars out. Okay, so I'm very pleased. Despite the fact that one of the jars fell over, because I didn't put jars of water in the canning pot to prevent that from happening, anyway, this jar sealed, which is interesting. They're all sealing nicely. I'm very pleased with this. Uh, once again, canning dairy is not approved, but I will continue to do it because it works for me. I thank you for watching.